Let's explore reliability and validity using some fun and memorable examples to make this concept that might be a little dry be easier to stick in your memory. I'm going to try and motivate you by sharing all my examples using cute pictures of pugs, and you'll have to just get through this definition slide before you get to all the fun pug examples. So we have reliability, which is basically asking if the measures in our data set are consistent over time. If we repeat the experiment or whatever the function is again, are we going to get the same or very similar results? Are there random errors or variations in the data or does it make sense consistently over time? And then validity is more looking at the accuracy in the measurements. Are we measuring what we're intending to measure? So let's say you need to weigh your pet pug. You just went to the vet and they said that poor Fido has had one too many pepperoni sticks and he needs to trim down a little bit to be healthy and take some pressure off his little joints. And we want to make sure that our bathroom scale is weighing Fido correctly. So let's look at some different scenarios. Let's just assume that our veterinarian has a good handle on their equipment and we know that the scale works perfectly. So when we took Fido to the vet, put him on the scale, and it came out weighing 24 pounds. That's a little overweight for a pug of this size. When it says that he weighs 24 pounds, we know that it's correct. It's accurate. The scale is reading out the number of what he weighs, and that is the true and correct number. So it is valid. Similarly, if we took him off the scale and back onto the scale and off the scale and back onto the scale, and it read 24 pounds every time, we would know that that scale is reliable. It's giving us the same number over and over again. So it's both valid and reliable. But there can be some cases where it's one or the other. So let's look at some other examples. Say we took our little doggo home and we used our bathroom scale. But as you can see in this photo, his body was half on, half off. So we're only weighing the front part of his body. So is that going to be a valid measurement? No, because it will say that he weighs less than 24 pounds. So that data point and that result is not valid. Similarly, if we had him go on and off the scale but wasn't fully on it every time, it would probably not be very reliable because sometimes he might have more weight on it than other times. Let's look at another example where it's not a valid measurement. If you look closely at the image here, it just says OMG instead of having a numerical weight readout. OMG is not a number, it's not a quantitative value, and this is not a valid measurement of weight because it's not a number. So it's not a valid result. It could be reliable, Maybe every time he gets on the scale, it says OMG exclamation point. That's a reliable answer, but it's not valid. Here's another example. So say we chuck the OMG scale in the trash, and while we're waiting for Amazon to deliver the next scale, we decide that we're going to start weighing the pup just by picking him up and seeing how he feels. First of all, would this be reliable? I don't think so, because maybe the first day you ate your Wheaties and you can pick him up no problem. You think, man, he's trimmed down, he's slim, he's lost some weight. But then the next day is your arm day at the gym. And when you pick him up, your arms are just shaking and trembling because you're so tired and your muscles are so fatigued. But you erroneously think, oh, man, he must have gained a whole bunch of weight overnight because today he's a lot heavier than he was yesterday. So this method is not reliable because there's those other factors at play that are impacting the reliability of your results. You're up and down and you're all over the place. It's also not valid because chances are you're probably not an expert weight guesser and you're probably, even if it's consistent day to day, your answer might not be accurate because you don't have the skills to be able to guess that accurately. So let's say we get our act together we got our dog's cute little butt all the way on the scale and we've got you know a new scale in place and every time we set him on there the scale reads out 60 pounds six zero would this be a reliable result yes it would it's reliable every time we put him on the scale 
it reads out the same result. Nothing's changed with the dog, nothing's changed with the scale. So it sure is reliable. But remember, reliability is about consistency in measurement over time. And so every time we're using the tool, we're getting the same result. That means it's reliable. But is it valid? Heck no, it's rigged. It just keeps giving us the same wrong answer over and over again. So it's automatically adding 36 pounds every time. So it's always going to give you the same answer, the true weight plus 36, which is the wrong answer, even if you get it consistently. Now, if you're not a dog lover, I've got one final example for you. And a totally new scenario would be, imagine that you decided, I'm a social service person, okay, doing therapy. Imagine if I decided that I was going to judge or estimate my client's mood by what color of shirt they were wearing or what colors were in their outfit. This would be reliable. Uh, in the sense that every time I saw someone wearing a bright orange or yellow shirt, I would say, I would conclude that they are happy and that every time someone's wearing, you know, dark black colors, gothic looking, I would say they're very sad and depressed. So it's reliable in the sense that I'm not just randomly assigning a mood to shirts. I have a method and it's going to give me consistently the same results, but those results are not accurate. And so it is very low validity. There might be some small degree of truth that you might wear brighter colors when you're having a good day and darker colors when you're having a bad day. Like if you went to a funeral and you saw lots of people wearing dark colors and they were all pretty sad, it actually would be pretty valid in that scenario, but it's not of course valid in all scenarios. So just keeping in mind that things can be reliable but not necessarily valid, and you need to have both to have a sound experiment.